Hey friends, Khan here with another video. Thank you for stopping by the channel. Please like and subscribe. And this video is going to be on the Acoustic Samples B5 version 3. So they've pretty much overhauled this entire plugin and all of the sounds are updated. And to me, it sounds really, really cool. Um, what's great about this is it has a kind of dry and upfront sound, but it's very realistic. And for the price, it's insanely worth it. So Acoustic Samples hit me up and said, hey, we're releasing version three. Do you want to check it out and review it for us? So I was able to get a copy of it before they released it. And I was able to make a bunch of presets here specifically for reggae. So without further ado, let's take a listen to this bad boy. So as soon as you turn it on, you can hear that Leslie spinning, which is pretty cool. And if we go to speaker, that's this acoustic volume. So you really can hear it. Now let's just play something. It's got that cool kind of, you know, just chilled out sound. Um, so if we go to the default, this is this. So yeah, it has that really nice kind of, you know, vintage Hammond sound from like the 60s. This one is a 1968 Hammond. And what's really awesome about this plugin is the fact that you can change like everything on it. These are literally the, the like pickups for every single tone wheel. You can change the tone like this. Or darker. And then they have a ton of actual like so here's one from 1975 where they actually like took a sample of the volume of every single tone wheel there's like hundreds in here it's insane see this one's darker wax capacitors just as an example but you can also you know make it your own too much top end maybe too many low mids what i'm saying here is there's a bunch of like starting points and then there's a like you can make it your own that to me is insane like the amount of flexibility that this thing has. Not only that, but you can affect the different volumes of the draw bars here too. So let's make it darker. There's so many things you can edit. I'm not gonna go into all the settings, but some kind of cool standouts are the acoustic volume here. hear the rotary turning it's really loud but get the idea driver distortion is awesome it's just got that grittiness to it um, and then there's also tube distortion so here's without so the distortion you're hearing is like from the speaker of the Leslie 
versus actual tube distortion. So let's listen to some of the presets that I made. Uh, we'll start with Bubble Clean and we'll play along to a track because that's fun. So we'll take that and we'll chop it up a bit here. And we'll open up another preset here. Something that's really cool is the DI sound. It's like for I call this the skank DI. So I'll pan this a little to the right. Take that and show you guys some other sounds. Such a cool sound. get the idea. to another chord progression and this time we're going to try the preset that's called dirty bubble 
and it just has more um, distortion. Okay, and yeah, I it was kind of quiet, but I'll turn it up. Preachy or perky. So cool. That percussive organ is awesome. Uh, let's do another progression here. Let's do a happy one, shall we? My playing is definitely not perfect, but um, let's see. I have a couple other presets here. Um, what's this one? Churchy. Yeah, that's sick.
just sounds real. I don't know what to say other than that. And um, yeah, it's really good and it's affordable. So, you know, I, I did another review on another organ and it was awesome. It's the IK Multimedia, but it's also three times the price. So a lot of people wanted to buy it, but they're like, ah, oh, it's too much money. So this one, you know, I was unsure of doing another organ tutorial or organ plug-in demo but this one is awesome and it's it's you know the price is right okay so we're gonna do a quick shootout on the four organs that i own so i have obviously the uh the b5 here from acoustic samples i have logics b3 vintage organs by native instruments and ik multimedia b3x um so I have all the draw bars set to exactly the same and I tried to match them tonally as best as I could. So let's just listen to a little spot here. So that's acoustic samples. Now logic. the B5 logic vintage organs and then B3X Listen to a different spot. So then all let's just play. something really cool about the p5 it just kind of feels like a little bit closer to you and the hammond or the leslie actually logic isn't set up right. to jargon b3x To me, the obvious winners is the B5 and the B3X. Um, I think the B3X sounds maybe a little more realistic as far as like the the Leslie sound. Um, the B5 to me just sounds a little bit closer to you. It's not a bad thing. Um, it maybe. There's something really nice about the IK Multimedia's Leslie sound, but as far as like the 
The percussiveness. I love the B5 for that. So yeah, and I was kind of... Kind of surprised at how good Logix is. Um, it feels like it's maybe a little bit compressed and like all the information isn't isn't there. It's like not as high fidelity or something. Um, something mushy about the mid range, but it's nice. It's it definitely. I think it's better than vintage organ. I'd say that's the downside of vintage organs is the Leslie just sounds fake it, it's not very good but anyways thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video um i hope that you liked it and that you'll check out the b5 from acoustic samples so um i'll catch you on the next video and if you haven't already please like and subscribe and i'll check you later peace